Yeah, come Let's on. Take it back to some hip hop. <laughs> the poet, and you know it. You know it. Ride with me. Who is the bring it to the forefront? forefront. Light dice shooting, squatting at the storefront. While a team walk in, trying to buy a blunt. But let me be blunt and right to the point. Is there anybody out there? Can you hear me? You're not alone. I know, I know, I know a lot of black people are showing out on Black History Month. Ain't that something? But you're not alone. If you can hear me, I have knowledge. I have nourishment. I have food supply. I have common sense. All you gotta do is answer. I'm here. Is there anybody out there? Damn. Come on, black people. Come on. What's up, y'all? This is Vigilante, and you're now watching Two Minute and Some Change. And guess what? BossSports.com. That's BrotherOwnSports.com. Vigilante at Gmail, Vigilante at Twitter. You know the routine, no doubt. Check it out, y'all. Looking as nigga. Everybody's hyped about what Nicki Minaj is rapping about and the cover that's very disrespectful to Malcolm X. But is it really a big deal? Are we more mad at the picture of having those words, subtitles by Michael Max looking at the window? Because in rap, we've heard this type of song before about people flossing, about people lying on their status and stuff. And that's what she was rapping about. So to me, I'm not really tripping off the rap. The picture, she should have maybe thought about that. But it's not a big deal. The bigger deal, do you think Michael Max would care about if somebody put it by his name or we get mad at the situation that's going on in society? If we get mad about certain lyrics and, and, and rap and the culture that's bringing our young down and we talk about that, it seems like we just wait for a headline to come and then we all get upset, we get on Facebook, we do all that, but we really don't do nothing. Which leads me to my next question. Do you think protesting in today's society really matters. Because, first of all, we'll have enough people show up to make a difference. When you look at the old pictures back in the days, when you look at uh, Mega Evers, when they was doing the, the, um, the, ga the gas station boycotts, you saw thousands of people boycotting something unified together. Do you think that the only time we unify is to put a selfie up on Facebook not really get out there and do something. That's the problem we have, is that we talk a lot of stuff, but we ain't gonna walk that walk. And another thing is, can revolution be clean? You know, Michael Mix was talking about the ballad of the bullet. So when I see Nicki Minaj, and I see that she's a dope MC, don't get it wrong, she got bars. But when I see her, Lil Wayne, the count, and what they rap about, is it really a surprise? Ain't everybody rapping about that? Because if we're gonna take her out, then you gotta take the rest of the MCs out too. They're talking the same thing she's talking about. Whether they put Michael Max in front of the cover or not, it's still the same thing. Think about that. Yeah, yeah. Go back, time traveling. Hey, what's up, y'all? We gotta talk about the Jordan Davis trial because last week I told you on the show that do black people even care about the Jordan Davis trial? Well, the jury didn't care, and I guess the court system didn't care because the guy still didn't get convicted of murder. And what's crazy about this, hopefully he get a lot of time because he's older, he get a lot of time. That's the best we can do right now. But this guy had the nerve to say that he was the victim and the victor. He was the victim. He don't get it. That's what white privilege is that they don't get it. They think it, it, it don't matter to them. A life don't matter to them. Which leads me up to this. Black people, we gotta stop talking about what we're gonna do and really get together in these neighborhoods and build and unify. We got to build and unify. The black educators, you cannot, you cannot be so smart that you can't reach down and help us out. It's too much separation. It's too much separation. And the ignorant niggas, need to wake up. If not, you're gonna see stuff like this happen all the time. We already got black people killing each other at a high rate. Now we get other race to join in? <laughs> Extermination, genocide, whatever you wanna call it, is on the way, unless we wake up. That's what we gotta do, we gotta wake up. But I ain't gonna get to that. I'm gonna talk about Miranda. This crazy Satanist woman who don't kill 
22 to 100 people, all in the name of Satan. And she is so bad that the church of Satan says she don't belong to them. And she's using that as a cover-up. Now you know you got to be bad if you can murder almost 100 people or 22 allegedly people and the church of Satan don't want you. <laughs> That's a problem. Wow. Now, what's going to be the story with her? I'll tell you what's going to be the story of her. Ain't it funny how people show sympathy for killers, but the victim, when it comes to black people, there's no sympathy. It's more sinister. Young thugs riding in the car. Young thug walking across the grass. But there's sympathy for a killer at Sandy Hook's. Now this killer, something wrong with this picture. Something is wrong with this picture. Something is wrong with this picture. You tell me. We got to do better when it comes to this. We got to do better. And I'm speaking strictly to black people. It's okay to have black pride. But we got to unify. I'm going to keep saying this till you get tired of hearing it. We must unify. Here's a Zimmerman, George Zimmerman update. He was on Univision, and I guess he took his family to the beach, and some people saw him, and they said, $10,000 on your head, boy. And he got upset, and retreated back to the hotel, and he feared for his life. Then he got out of town the next day. Let me ask you something, George Zimmerman. What did you think? You put yourself in the spotlight. You wanted to box DMX. You wanted to box that fool. And you don't think that people are not going to pay attention to you? You didn't go away. You're not going away. You think that you're a celebrity. So with being a celebrity, since you think you an infamous celebrity, guess what? People will be on your head because you want their attention. So don't expect for you not to get it that you can just do what you do and disrespect the Martin family like you're doing and just think that you're going to walk on a beach without anybody saying nothing to you, you attention whore. Please, you get up smack for that. Matter of fact, Michael Dunn, you get up smack for that. Nicki Minaj, you get a squeeze for that. Peace. My swag and legacy, so believable, incredible, can sit to see clearly. What's up, y'all? Check out my new album, A Nobody That Tried to Be Somebody's Nobody, on iTunes, payloads.com, that's payloads, P-A-Y-L-A-D-Z.com slash vigilante, or Videc slash vigilante. Check me out. Also, check out my joints on shot97.com, that's star live and direct. Shop97.com, y'all, from 12 o'clock to 2 p.m. Eastern. Check me out on that show. Also, if you need your music to get radio play, you need promotions and things like that, Greg Burks of ShopSoundsPromotion.com is your guy to help get your music played all across the world. Believe me, I know, because the poet is doing numbers, and you best believe that. This show, Two Minutes and Change, was brought to you by Chauncey Clyde. You know, be that boy. Check him out in the stores and check out what he got up next. Peace. I'm a bad mother, shut your mouth. The boy knows what I'm talking about. Non-believers and underdeavers, I'm taking them out. Each other the stepping with a verbal weapon when I converge 86 shots on MCs from 19 and older. Spit at you with the bird. It's magic when I throw a dough rhyme over my shoulders. Now your chick is on the Johnson. So I bottle her up twice with baby R connection. Johnson and Johnson, the boy is stomping with the big dogs. You all bite and no ball.